Hello, my amazing people. Welcome to God's Loves You channel, the home of news. If it is your first time of coming across this platform and you like what we are doing, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notifications. This will enable you to know when we upload a new video. Here, we react to all forms of videos, local, international, especially what is happening in Nigeria. So, it is very, very important you like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Let's do it constructively. You are free to criticize. Of course, everybody is entitled to their opinion. So, but let's, you know, drop our arguments, whatsoever you feel about the video that you watch constructively, always in the comment section. Thank you so it much. It is evident that Biafrans have left Nigeria a long time ago. I repeat, it is evident that Biafrans have left Nigeria a long time ago. Those that are pushing agenda against the Igbos, you are wasting your time because Igbos, in their heart of heart, they have already left Nigeria. When you look at the passion, how passionate the Southeasterners are in pushing for Biafra. Some people left countries, continents, just to attend Finland, to, to witness the redeclaration of Biafra. If you look at the caliber of people in that event, if you look at the passion, if you look at the determination, some people are desperate to have Biafra. That shows you a lot. That tells you a lot that these Southeasterners have left Nigeria a long time ago. So your propaganda, your agenda on the Igbo people is a lost cause, especially those APC Ronu or those that are supporting uh, Bola Metrubu, uh, you being used to castigate or, or those that have hatred, natural hatred for the Igbo man. These guys, the Igbo people, they have left Nigeria a long time ago. If you are watching that event in Finland, the Biafra Convention in Finland, that should reveal a lot to you. So, your attacks, they will be baseless in a matter of time. In a matter of time, they will be baseless. That convention is sending a message to the world, not just Africa, nor the Nigerian government. It is sending a message to the world that the Igbo man is tired of Nigeria. The Igbo man, the thing don't get to this side. They are tired of the country. Look at Ohanese. Look at Southeast politicians. Despite the opposition from the DOS, despite all that has been said against these young people, you will notice one thing, is that whoever that is running the Biafra agitation, he gets a lot of support. And whoever it is gets the support of Biafrans. I tell you, I tell you this, the houses, the Northerners are joining the agitation, the houses, the template that Mazi Namdekanu has set eh, for, for, for Africans. You can see some Hausa people are speaking up. I have posted a lady, a lady, she has done so many videos and I'm even concerned about her whereabouts. I, I tried reaching out to her. I'm concerned about because that boldness. You know, the North, if you have rule of law in other parts of the country, not the North. Northern Nigeria does not have rule of law. They still practice their Ikeik uh, uh, Sharia in that place. That young lady will be picked up if it gets to a level. The level of freedom in the North is limited. So these Hausa people, because of looking at, watching that Biafra convention, some of them are coming out boldly to ask the Fulani to leave the north. What Mazinam Nkano has done for the African people is unprecedented. Look at how nations in Africa are boldly rejecting France, are boldly sending their, their colonial masters away. Look at how nations are bold in doing the same thing. Look at what Mali is doing. Look at what Niger Republic is doing. Look at what Burkina Faso is doing. Senegal will also do the same thing. This is because of the bravery. This is because of the agitation, the Biafran agitation. So 
we are in Nigeria, we are seeing what President Bola is doing, taking Nigeria back into the hands of France, having a few days. When I, when I watched uh, this uh, uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu and uh, Macron, when I watched the videos, I was like laughing. It's like two lovers. They, 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 are, they are having a good time. But beyond that, other countries are rejecting France, but Nigeria is putting its hands into France. I believe Nigeria needs money. Yes, Nigeria needs money. That's why the president is trying as much as he, as he can to raise funds. Raise funds, a system that is designed to fail, but some people will blindly go on with such system. The egos have left Nigeria a long time ago. No going back. I saw young people, young people declaring Biafra in Finland. I saw people, educated people. I saw old men that may have 5, 10, 15 years of their life remaining on earth passionate about Biafra. This tells you a lot that what many people experienced during the war is still fresh in their memories and they still have this hope that a Biafra will come that will be better for them, their children and their grandchildren. I don't know. The way we reason in this part of the country or this part of the world is different. The way the Yoruba man reasons is different from the way that an Igbo man reasons and the Hausa or the Fulani man reasons. Yes, uh, many people believe that this Biafra of the thing is a child's play. It might look like a child's play to you, but it is not a child's play. I'm telling you, this is a spirit. This is an ideology. It moves an average Igbo man, a typical Igbo man. He, it's like it, it takes over the being and it controls him. This spirit of Biafra is a strong spirit, my brother. Yes, it is a strong spirit. Without, I've said it before, and I'll say it over and over again. The template of Biafra is not on Mazanam Kanu, Samanekpa, or Wazuriki or Juku. See, young people that are coming on, I'm saying it and people think that we are just playing. The young people that are coming on on this agitation, that are coming on board, will take a different systematic approach. It became better and better and better when a new agitator came on board. If Samanekpa is no more, you see that the strategic... See, every agitator comes and puts a, a, a template on ground. Um, Ojuku did his part by declaring the nation. That's why we have the book by Chino Achebe. There was a country. Ojuku did his part. Wazirike stabilized with Masog. Yes, the spirit moved on. Nam de Kanu came with a revolution, a revolutionary spirit, and created many more agitators, not just supporters, not just members, or not just people that want Biafra. He created many more agitators with his own agitation. The spirit of Biafra, agitating for Biafra, multiplied in the minds, the soul, and spirit of Southeasterners, of many Igbos. And even those that are not in the southeast, we know that Gowon tried the old southeastern region. There was a separation from the people from Calabar, Kwaibom, people from Delta State, people from Port Harcourt, people from Bielsa, people from Kogi, people all over. There is this agitating spirit that Namde Kanu brought on many Nigerians. I told you about the houses. The houses. I I met with an Hausa person. He he. He prefers to join Biafra agitation. Yes, because of the subjugation. If Nigeria's system is worse, that one that's happening in the north is much more worse. The spirit of the Hausa person is crushed. The Fulani has crushed the spirit of an average Hausa person. I tell you, and I tell you with all sincerity. They need our help. These Hausa people, they need our help. They need orientation. Because these highly demonic people, some of these Fulani people, highly demonic, have found a way of suppressing their spirit. Not even their body, their spirit. This young lady that is speaking, amongst many others, because she used to speak Aosa and I didn't understand Aosa until she spoke that English language. That's when I was able to help her share the information that she's passing on to the world. 
She's begging the world, come to her rescue. We don't want to be part of the house of Fulani. They have taken over our politics. They have taken over our economy. They have taken over all, virtually everything. They come under the disguise of Islam into northern Nigeria and use that to kill. I've never seen something like that. Use that to kill. That is the template. That is their stock in trade. That's why we have... Almost all the terrorist group in Nigeria are from that. She said that houses don't get involved in all these terrorism activities. It is majorly the Fulanis using Islam as a cover up. It is hard for you to see somebody using Christianity as a cover up to kill. No, the religion, the, the doctrine, the, the, the teachings of Christ would not allow somebody. No matter how you want to disguise it, no matter how you want to explain it or manipulate it or interpret it, the doctrine of Christ does not, does not allow you at all. That is why it is hard for you to see people that are using Christianity to kidnap and kill and say all sorts of things. But these people boldly will quote from the Quran. They have enough evidence from the Quran supporting their evil acts. Over the years, hundreds of years, they have used the same tactic. And somebody will come and tell me that he's a moderate Muslim and he say, uh, uh, we are not the same. My brother, sit down there and face what is facing you. The moderate Muslim wishes that he can do what the, the fanatic, the Muslim fanatic would do. The fanatic will kill and kill. The moderate Muslim will keep quiet. In his heart, he's happy that Islam is expanding. People are forced. You use knife and put on the throat of people use knife and put on the throat of people to accept islam in kaduna state it is happening almost everywhere anywhere there's an islamic revolution it is force and force and force so we are speaking for the outside people that wants to join biafra you think somebody will say go and get evidence see eh? if your eyes is not open it should open at this point in time it should open Try as much as you can to have an encounter with an outside person. An outside person. Try as much as you can to have an encounter. Then come back and tell me what you saw or what did the person tell you. The outsiders are willing to join the Biafra agitation. Let us sell the template to them so that they can revolutionize their way out of the hands of these blood-sucking demons in the Sahel. They are as, as few as they are, they have taken over. I don't know how they did it, but they did it. I've said it before that the only people that can face the Fulanese are the Igos. In the whole of Nigeria, not even the, the, the Benues, not even the Kogi, the Igos are the ones that, yes, okay, let's agree. Let's divide Nigeria into three. Or let's divide Nigeria into two. Because the Yorubas, the Southwesterners, will never ever stay with the Fulani in one country. The Hausas are regretting. They will never want to stay. If Nigeria divides, that Arewa you are seeing, hmm? that Arewa, the Hausa will not be part of that Arewa. They have said it over and over again that we are not part of this your Arewa. They have said it over and over again. So it is only the Igbos that will want. To stay in the same country with the Fulani. Only the Igbos have the gods. Only the Igbos have the science on how to control this Fulani rabid. I don't want to call them names because I am I am pissed off by some of the things these young people are going through. I'm pissed off by some of these things these young people are going through in northern Nigeria. They look helpless. They look deranged. It's like life has have been taken away from them. Hope has been taken away from them. There's no other thing that they can do anymore. They, they, are, they are like people that are dying, seeking for help. That's why I like the spirit of an Igbo man. If an Igbo man is in the same country with the Fulani, they don't bond them well from here to that side to start playing all, the, all those their, their backyard game, manipulative game. That's why we have said that Islam is not official, will not be official. You see, when we see them using that their backyard leg, to, using Islam to, to get to a place, we'll cut their wings. We'll cut it. Now, 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 we'll cut it. 
we know that they are highly diabolical. Then we will show them how to deal with diabolical people. We know that they are highly political. We will show them how to do with people that are insincere. Political, using that their politics, their, their manipulative politics, we will play the same manipulative politics with them. I'm saying it now. Everybody is listening. You are, you are hearing what I'm saying. They, th they think that they are strong. We will tell them that it is not about being physically, but it is about the, the strong spirit. The strong spirit. Biafrans have a strong spirit. Our resilience and strong willed spirit will defeat anything, anybody, any day, any time. I'm telling you, resilience and strong willed spirit. You will see what people are risking going to Finland. What people are risking as if their whole lives depend on it. That tells you how strong willed these Biafra people, these Biafra young people and old men are that are going to Finland. So the Hausa needs to brace up. The Hausa needs to understand the template by which these Biafrans, the agitators in the Southeast, are using to push for their own country. They need to be strong-willed. They need to be strong. You see, man die only once. You only die once. You don't die two times. And you must die. Don't be afraid of death. Now, let your eyes be open. Let your spirit be open. Focus on the God of Israel. The God of Israel, Chuko Kike Abiyama. The God of Abraham. This is the God that defeated, you know, Israel. They have a covenant with God of Israel, God of Abraham. They have a covenant. Irrespective of the Fulani, let me use the Muslim countries surrounding Israel. Roundabout. Let me use them. Okay, maybe Israel is used as the Hausa. Then we have Fulani surrounding them. Even Islam. There's Islam in, in the state of Israel. There are, there are Muslims in the state of Israel. To, to tell you that we Igbos, if we stay with Fulan in the country, we will control them and dominate them. Despite the fact that there, there's Islam and less, less Christians, when we look at Christians in Israel, the Muslim might be more than the Christians. We have Judaism also in Israel. Despite this fact, Israel is controlling the narrative in the West Bank, in, the, in, uh, in Asia, in the Middle East, sorry, in the Middle East. Israel is controlling the narrative. They are becoming, they are bossing everybody. As little as they are, they are bossing everybody. You can do it. Trace your connection. Stay away from this idol worshipping. The, the spirits connected to these idols are not strong enough because these Fulanis, they are highly diabolical. They shed human blood for sacrifice. They do all sort of fetish things leave the islam aside most of them don't even practice some of the things that islam is asking muslims to practice these people they are much more interested in in subduing people in subduing that is their interest yeah the spirit that controls them are evil spirit yes the houses can get their freedom if they have their connection to Chuko Okike Abiyama. Please, I'm not insulting anybody if you're a Muslim. If you're a Muslim with an open heart, you understand what I'm saying. I'm telling you, the Islam has connection with Abraham. Yes, we understand. But some people will not. For instance, now, the, the people that are saying Igbo must go, Igbo must go, majority of them are Arab Yorubas. And most of them are Muslims. Igbo must go, Igbo must go. When are you going? Be going now. Be going tomorrow. Yes, we must see you. You must go. Most of them, most of them, not all of them, most of them that are pushing, most of them that want to take over the political space in Yoruba land, most of them are Arab Yorubas. Yes, that is true, and that's what I'm saying. So the Igbos have left. The Hausas should also take the same step. We have left Nigeria. I don't need to come and tell you. I don't need to come and convince you. We have already left. See, the spirit, soul, and body. The, the, your body might be here, but the spirit is somewhere else in Biafra. 
see no matter how you 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 want to think that it's in it because i used to think when they go to biafra how would they survive how would, when we get there we'll find a way see an igbo man forges his way in the wilderness creates a way for himself in the wilderness an igbo man survives in heavy and bad conditions an igbo man finds a way to survive so don't worry about that igbo man don't worry about how he's going to uh, how, how is he going to survive how's he going to do it don't worry about that they will come out better and better and better those that are waiting for biafra to be declared on the second my brother they have already declared it all the train has left already oh. the train has left you if you are waiting for biafra to be declared on the second i don't know what to tell you and i don't know what to say again the train has already left now the next thing that will happen is that prepare for max prepare <laughs> I wanted to put the word in a way whereby some people will understand. Let me make it in a way whereby you will not understand. You get much more confused. You get much more confused. The system has to change. See, it's not about the Igbo people. Me calling for Biafra, I know some people are saying this guy is crazy or some people are pained. The Yorubas don't really want Igbos to go. Let me tell you. Let's see the truth. But the Igbos are still going to go at the end of the day. I'm telling you, they don't want the Igbos to go. The ones that are saying go, go, they are blind. They don't want the Igbos to go. But Igbo has to go. Has to go. We, we, we need to go. If we are going to be still be in Nigeria, let's create our own country. Let's create our own system. We want to be free from the, the, the grips of the Fulani. Fulani are using the Yoruba and using other tribes to, 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 to suppress the Igbo people. No, we want to be free. And free we must. Now, if you stand in the way, if a moving train is moving and you stand in the way, what is the next thing? You get crushed. You don't stand in the way of a moving train. And these people have constituted a moving train. It is likened. Biafra agitation now is likened to a moving train. That everybody wants to experience Biafra in its fullness. Independence, freedom. Freedom is all that we want.